Why did you fall into the gang lifestyle? Didn't you know the consequences such as death of your own friends, your family? When I was growing up, I was excluded from school. I was one of them kids that used to look for the gate and think, oh gosh, man, I wish I was out there. At the time, about when I was, when I was like 15, 16, my dad got sick. So when I was looking for that male role model, I found them out there on the streets. And next thing you know, I'm caught up in a lifestyle. It wasn't the decision I made, it was just my environment. I became a product of my environment. And what I was trying to say, make your environment a product of you. As a child who is put in a situation where he's targeted and, and being made out to be a gang member, you have to understand, as soon as um, I'm known as a gang member, uh, Everyone's an enemy to me now. I grew up in a, in a society where I went to this school with a lot of great teachers, of a lot of people who, who inspired me to want to do better. You understand? And I always used to be an open spirit in school. I used to crack a lot of jokes and teachers used to love me and that. But at the end of the day, this environment and out there is two different things. You get me? I, I used to be so mad because of things that used to happen to me out there. I used to come in school and I used to be very bright and willing to do things but you can ask any of these teachers when i lost it i lost it we, we're, we're from a place where bad is normal now it should not be like that but unfortunately that's what it is in aston and hansworth obviously um the gang crime members their family have passed away and their friends what makes you think by creating this documentary that you can make a difference it wasn't actually the documentary that was going to make the change the documentary was just us filming trying to make the change there's a whole movement. Some people have lost people and people are doing life in jail and those are older people, but I don't want none of you kids to end up in that same situation. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm passionate about. It's what our gangs are doing, that's a problem. It's the mentality and the mindset of youth, not, not, no, not no colour, youth in general. Do you know when the man's there? I, I, know, I know white people, Asian people who are on the streets who gangbang worse than I used to gangbang. Do you understand? Their pouches and gold teeth and this and that. It's not about colour, it's about mentality and, and the situation of, of in which we live in. And if we, we, we learn how, how to be civilised and how to conduct ourselves in an appropriate manner, that's when we will change ourselves as people. What made you stop one to being involved in the gang violence? I got friends that are dead because of this gang violence. I got friends doing life in prison because of this gang stuff. So. It's, and I can see all you little kids getting enticed by it. So somebody has to say something to you because I know nobody else is telling you it's wrong. The, the, the realisation of, of the other side who, who I was trained like a dog to make believe that th th these people were my enemy. And then I realised at the end of the day, th these people are just like me. We, same, we share the same trials and tribulations. So I know what I'm doing is right and I know ignorance is easy to be ignorant and it takes a man to do something right and, and follow that through. You understand? So don't ever get overtaken by ignorance. I'm not good. It's followers and leaders, isn't it? Why are you? You don't want to be following somebody that's taking you on the wrong path and it's to follow your own heart and what's what you feel is right, isn't it?